Hello guys, it's the follow-up from the Eagle Nest Cam Bigfoot. So I had a few comments, um, and one comment in particular, well I think it's just the one actually, saying that it was um, it's definitely a hoax, um, somebody in a suit, and then they later commented, Tony, I was right, that was a hoax. I was emailed the story about it, not bragging, just wanted you to know. So then I scrolled down and uh, sure enough there was somebody who left. Um, a link, a link to the website with the story. So this is the particular website um, in question, Detroit Free Press. Story by John Carlyle. So I scroll down, quite a fair way down, and uh, I've copied this text. So I'm assuming um, Mr. Carlisle wrote this. Subheading back to nature. Some people think Bigfoot is more than just a missing link. Some think he deserves to be worshipped. Um, not long ago, I think it's Gawain, I don't know how to pronounce that correctly. Gawain McGregor stitched some animal skins together, made a full body suit, put it on and went for a walk in Michigan forest, looking a whole lot like Bigfoot. That Bigfoot scene on the Eagle Cam earlier this year, that was him, he said, sheepishly. Um, and this is uh, Gawain's uh, quote, comment. I was up fishing with a friend at Crystal Lake, and as I often do, I performed a shamanistic ceremony where I walk in the woods dressed as an animal. He explained, this may seem unusual, but it's actually a practice rooted in ancient tradition. McGregor, a 36-year-old fur trap trapper from Minnesota, does this as part of his spiritual tra tradition. It's a way to reconnect with nature, he said. It's also a way to throw another curveball into the Bigfoot hunter's quest to gather evidence. He unknowingly passed the eagle cam. Someone watching it spotted this bumbling, hairy figure struggling to get past the log in the woods. The video went viral and suddenly McGregor and his fursuit were in international news. And finally, um, he he was quoted to say, so pretty quickly I knew that was me, said McGregor, who was reluctant to come forward. I thought that I was going to get arrested and be on the news and people would say I was crazy. And I didn't even want to get into explaining why I was doing that. I don't know if it's a protected site. So when I first saw the video, I was pretty nervous. So to him, to him, I don't know if this is his quote or uh, if it's true. To him, Bigfoot is neither man nor ape. He's an angel. That's why nobody's ever caught one or found a body or gotten a clear photo, he said. He's not the only one. There's a strain of believers who think Bigfoot is not a physical being. Let's just go through this quickly, um, where it says, um, I performed the shamanistic ceremony where I walk and walk in the woods dressed as an animal. So he walks. It doesn't say anything about running or breaking a stick or throwing rocks. Um, he said it's a throne of Kirpal. Someone watching it spotted this bumbling, hairy, figure struggling to get past the log in the woods while well, it didn't look like he was struggling to me okay um, so in Gawain's eyes these are my words now in Gawain's eyes it, it must be him because Bigfoot cannot possibly be caught on camera as they are angels so he said here that they are angels he believes they're angels so you know it must be him uh, he was there apparently and uh, walking in the woods and um, you know it cannot be, cannot possibly be a Bigfoot because they they're angels and they cannot be caught on uh, on camera. Okay, well, um, if he wants to believe that, that's fine. You know, I don't personally believe they are angels. Um, I believe they they are like humans have a physical being and a spiritual being, um, uh, physical and spiritual, like humans. Bigfoot has a physical body and a spiritual body as well. I'm not 100% sure that they do, but uh, I believe that and I suspect. Um, so the suit, 
here's the suit I got an image from his website um, he's got a few images there so this is I mean I don't know whether this is the actual suit he was wearing um, on that day and whether he has more than one suit I don't know and you can you can read that if you like um, here's some images of the suit which he was showing on on this website um, and there's a forward shot um, so it's the wrong color the feet too big and the head too big it's pretty clear that it's black in the actual video whether it could be a different color due to lighting I don't know or reflecting light but it's pretty clear to me that you know it, it would be at least a bit of brown showing but there's nothing like that at all um, here we see the head is, is, is very close to the shoulders it's not high up um, whereas it, it is here it's completely it's almost another another body size really so it would kind of be noticeable that the head would be sticking above the shoulders um, and here you can see the feet kind of quite big I think I know the quality is not good to tell for sure but you can kind of see that there are feet there whereas in, in um, this one there's not much there really balancing on a log I do believe not 100% sure but I think the way his arms are moving he seems to be balancing possibly balancing on that log see his, his arms are kind of going sort of as they would do if you were balancing or maybe not I don't know but I'm just saying that that would be almost impossible to do with a suit like this where you wouldn't be able to possibly even turn your head or tilt your head or see where you're going so yeah poor visibility in in those woods walking and running and jumping on jumping off a log down a hill would be pretty insane I think to attempt so like I say it's possible that he, he may have another suit uh, a darker one which is more flexible and agile and uh, but um, anyway maybe Mr. McGregor can uh, uh, watch this video and come forward that would be good Thanks for watching.